Solway Elementary School bonded with their veterans in the area by inviting them to breakfast. Reporter Cheryl Moore tells us how they made the event extra memorable in this week's Golden Apple. Solway Elementary School wanted to get to know the veterans in their area. So they took the time to reach out and invite them to the school for a special Veterans Day breakfast ceremony. Solway Elementary is a, is a small school and um, so we have not had um, a large um, Veterans Day program for a few years, um, but we decided this year that it's important even though we're a small school that we need to really bring our veterans in here. More than 15 veterans from different generations and different branches of the military took part in the program. Once everyone had finished eating, the ceremony began. It started with two of the veterans being randomly selected to receive a quilt of valor made by the Headwaters Quilt Guild of Bemidji. Quilts of Valor, because it's a national organization, contacted one of our members and we decided, the group decided to become a member of the organization and we have committed ourselves to making quilts for the Quilts of Valor Foundation. All the veterans for today's ceremony were invited by family members or family friends. At the end, the kids gave the people who they invited a special certificate, thanking them for their service. One veteran in attendance described the gesture as memorable. Very good, interesting. I, I believe it's a very, very uh, interesting program. Uh, the Quilts of Valor are uh, designed for uh, people who served uh, the military, uh, not necessarily for acts of heroism, but for taking the time to serve their country, and uh, for that we thank you. The staff at Solway says they can see the event becoming an annual Veterans Day tradition, especially since both the kids and their invited guests seem to enjoy it. It's just an honor and a privilege to thank our veterans for their service. Reporting in Solway with this week's Golden Apple, Sheryl Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.